Hello and welcome to Three from One. This is with Usna, our old friend. Let's also have a video with Super Unicorn and Y, and he's of course one of the big streamers. So all go watch him out. So this is the K91, and it's on Cliff. I'm really looking forward to see how he's going to play that one. Not really sure if he can work the gun side gun depression over the middle, but. A lot of people apparently pressed under, which is of course good. Good news for Usna. Nice track shot to the LT100. Even on the move. Let's see what he does. I think he decides to push a little bit here. Since the majority seem to be focused on the other side. He lands yet another nice shot to the LT100. Gets spotted. Let's see if we can hit the one that's going up the 13105. And the Super Kong where he bounced of course. Seems to totally be ignoring this thing. Actually, Usna's team is spread out pretty good. I really like the setup here. It's always kind of hard to see what you have to do on Cliff, in my opinion. Sometimes I actually like to push around the 9 line, if not too much gets spotted. This of course that 13105 from the top, that could be an issue. I'm actually not clear here if Usna has a plan. His team is two tanks behind, about 4000 HP behind. So it's still pretty even. I think he might be trying to circle around and see if he can get some shots into the bat trap. Connect the shot. There's really no point in trying to push over the middle because they're going to be wrecked for the F. There's way too many tanks in that area. So it looks like he's trying to create some distance between him and the enemy tanks, of course. Maybe he can get a few shots up on the cliff top. Maybe he's actually trying to climb here. He sure is. Get some spotting on the 13105. And there should be some good shots there. The shell velocity is going to make it nice. And. Connects and take out the 13105. That was really good. That's gonna help a lot. And the bad chat. Tracks the bad chat. Gets spotted. And he blind kills the bad chat. Very well played. He's a smooth operator, this young man. I'm not sure if he actually managed to tree market, and I'm not gonna say there's a bit of a rivalry between him and Furion, but they're at least both trying to tree market. So, I'm not quite sure if it happened for any of them yet though. He circles back to the middle. He decides to go to the edge and see what he can do. The LT100 ran all the way to the furthest spot on that little ledge. So, let's see what they find here. There is I7. First shot is in. Struggling with the 13105 to connect more no shots. A miss. Ooh. E50M. He's hiding a little bit there. And the Sheridan. Actually manages to kill the 13105. So let's see. Usna's here and the IS4 is here. It's still 6-7, they're still a little bit behind on HP, but not too bad really. I think they got a little bit of map control back here. The only annoying thing for the ones up the hill is uh, probably the LT100. It's probably going to spot them all the time. I do believe they have a good chance of winning. Of course, you should all go to Usner's stream and say hello from Alphas. I mean, Usna can't really push here or anything, because there's too many big guns there. So he decides to go back a little bit, maybe see what he can do. Uh, I wouldn't know what to do here.
If he gets too aggressive, he's probably gonna get wrecked. I kind of think due to Usna's ESL background, I don't think he's too impressed by static gameplay, unless it's absolutely necessary. His team just reduced it, so there's now 7-7. Seven, seven. Still a little bit behind. That was a nice shot of the bat chat. He also gets shot in the ass by the LT-100. Tracks the bat chat. I think he actually made it into cover behind the rocks from the LT-100. It's up to 3700 damage. Let's see if you can finish one of these tanks off. That's it, would be nice to get, get out. Tracks him again. I think he might be in reload. But now he's on a break. And the LT100 bounces a shot on Usna. Don't know if Usna's gonna go take him out. Kind of, I mean, it's not like the enemy team is campy, of course they are a little bit, but they have pretty good position still for cross-firing, so. And he gets spotted, the LT-100. See if he can get some shots on some. Tries to blind-fire him. Soldiers and Centurion AX out there, he should be able to spot him. Don't quite know why Wargaming decided to make that bush out there. I think it's pretty annoying when you play Cliff. Seem to always be someone with good camo, so you can decide if you want to cross over and get wrecked, or you just want to stand and wait. Unfortunately, I must say that Houston's team has lost, so they're like half the enemy team and uh, HP. I'm also actually quite sure they're gonna win a minute ago, but it doesn't look that good anymore. So I guess it's just a matter of damage control. He's not really peaking that much at T100LT. Seems to be quite aware where to stand and not be shot. Or be semi-safe at least. But at some point they're gonna flush him out. Oh, that was unlucky. And he bounces the 100LT. Well, well, well. And that one misses. Kind of funny, he's fully aimed and all that before, when he was driving, he could actually hit it. But hey. RNG. The Lord gives and the Lord takes. This was definitely a taker. Meanwhile, the enemy team has reduced it, so it's now 8 to 11. I really don't know what he should do. We get the Sheridan out, that would be pretty nice. They managed to take the 100 LT out, which is of course nice. I think the best chance of winning is actually to spread out strategically and crossfire them. Uh, also seems like uh, Usne found a really good position here behind the wreck as well. This has really kind of been a frustrating game for Usna, I think, because it's kind of, yeah, it's just never really good. It's just like, yeah. Let's see if we can get some shots into these tanks. Gets one into the Visa, 5A, good shot. Type 5 Heavy. Nice. Passes 5,000 damage. Type 5 Heavy is definitely where he's there, but can't really do a lot about it. And here comes the Sheridan at I-7. Gets one shot into the Sheridan. Oh, the Shadow Velocity. So nice. And the Centurion AX turns him off. So it's good. Gets tracked, but repairs really fast. Gotta see if we can get around him to do some damage, I guess. Strike shot, very nice strike shot. Unfortunately, the I-7 connects with him, so he's down to 203 HP. Uh, of course, he bounced at the I-7, stalled in metal. I don't know. Russian heavies, they just, you really gotta aim them well, I think. They can be really annoying. So, let's see. 
eleven thirteen. About 5,000 HP behind. And it's Usner and it's Centurion AX. And of course, a Type 5 Heavy. It's never ideal. That's oh, that's a nice shot and a good roll, actually. Usner's in a whirl of shit here. He can't really get away. 405 is also moving in. Nice maneuvering. Yeah, that was a frustrating bounce. And the 4005 kills the Centurion AX, so it is Houston against the world. Let's see what he can do there. Gets one more shot in. And another one. There's not a lot he can do, but rig up some damage. Bounces. That's really nice of him to back up there and a good timing to track. Very well played, isn't it? Gets one more shot in. And the 124 kills our brave Swedish player, unfortunately. Good hectic ending. And the result. High caliber, of course. And a first class. 8,171 WNA. Managed to get 7,923 damage, 3 kills, and he makes it to 900 assists, 17 bonds, and 767 base XP. Very well fought at the end there, isn't it? Looking forward to the next replay, and see you guys soon. English one with a Russian one, but man pulled up in the German one. Two four fours in a four door truck, there's one on the right, on the left, there's one. We don't wait for